incredibly important for Hima to be involved in Nottingham Citizens because very early on we realised no matter how many food banks we set up or hot meals or how many homeless people we provided shelter with, there's always going to be more and more of people suffering from those issues. And we wanted to break the dependency relationship. And the only way we were going to do that is like Bishop Tutu said, when you are pulling people out the river, look upstream to see what's pushing them in. It's about policy. It's about decisions that are being made by politicians in Westminster, locally, who have an immense impact on the day-to-day -day lives of people in the communities that we serve. And we couldn't do that by ourselves. No one's going to listen to a handful of Muslims. So by working together with churches, mosques, synagogues, trade unions, schools, universities and other NGOs, together we combined and become more powerful. Everyone hears our voices and that's how we build power and that's how we're going to create change. I think Nottingham citizens give us two things. Number one, we like the concept of working with a broad base of different people and organisations. And also, we like the methodology of community organising and how it builds leaders and it brings people together to work for the common good. That was very attractive for us as a church. We've always been involved in social action, but Nottingham citizens gave us a fantastic opportunity to be w working with a range of people which we wouldn't normally access. Our profile within uh, Nottingham as a whole is raised because of our involvement with Nottingham citizens. We're a very small charity, we're only five members of staff um, and now when we go out into the community people are like, oh yeah I've heard of you, I know what you do and there's a lot of respect and support for the work we do which without Nottingham citizens we wouldn't have been able to realise that. Children at any age need to understand that they can give back and they can make a difference. That's part of the curriculum, but it's also part of their learning as they grow up to be adults. Quite often the schemes that you buy into to develop personal and social education, to develop moral values and so forth, they are quite generic. Working through Nottingham Citizens is real and means something to your school and your community. Our students have been involved with some of the campaigns that citizens have run and I think it helps our students to get learning outside of the classroom. So they've been involved in campaigns around hate crime for example uh, and a lot of our young women students were involved in getting misogyny regarded as a hate crime and defined as a hate crime and that's been a massively empowering experience for them. Some of our research staff have been involved with doing the research around hate crime and that's incredibly positive because it's absolutely direct impact that you can see on the, your communities around you. So it's an incredibly positive experience. And I think also in terms of individuals involved, it helps them to develop as well. So they develop skills, they develop confidence, they develop much more of a sense of engagement with the place that, that we're part of. So this is real life social and civic engagement. And I think that benefits our staff, that benefits our students, it benefits the university as a whole, it benefits individuals who are involved. And I don't see a better route to get that for the university than Nottingham citizens. We were one of the co-founding members. And to us, what struck us straight away was it's intentional about leadership development. It invests a lot of ability and expertise in training. Training volunteers so they move up to the next step. So not only are they active within the institution, but they're active externally. And the impact for us is huge. Out of a dozen volunteers at the beginning, we have now over 50 volunteers. Nottingham citizens has actually helped our organisation to actually feel uh, proud, uh, to feel that uh, you know we're a part of a bigger enterprise, really. And that enterprise is really standing for justice, having a fairer and a better Nottingham. I would encourage um, particularly Muslim organisations to join this, uh, one for unity and strengthening themselves, empowering themselves uh, and uh, you know, getting their staff to be better trained as well in how to do compassionate public work. I 
getting involved in Nottingham Citizens is a huge opportunity to work with very diverse and different groups. I had an opportunity to go to um, Bobby's Mill Mosque when there was a, a lot of um, anti-Muslim uh, fever in that area a few years ago and I go to Friday prayers and, and read a poem along with other organisations who wanted to show solidarity. So where else would you really get an opportunity to meet and get involved with people from such diverse backgrounds? Uh, but actually come together with a, with a common voice about a common issue. I would say that it's a really good idea to get involved. It gives opportunities for your members and people that work with you to do leadership development. There's lots of training opportunities um, and it's great to collaborate with other organisations because we can achieve more together than we can if we work on individual actions alone as organisations across the city. The power of being involved in a collective experience for social justice is, is life-changing, actually. It's a really profound experience and it's something I've experienced through being involved with Nottingham Citizens. What we need to do is all of us need to leverage our resources, our people and our money for change because that's what ultimately the third sector, the voluntary sector is about. It's about having social impact. It's about changing the lives of our members and beneficiaries. And the only way we can do that is by converging, by working together, having strategic visions and having the means and a methodology to deliver that change.